I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only person who ever thought that a particular artist or group should get the coveted MTV Video Vanguard Award. We all have had our favorite groups or artists who may have been passed over, leaving us to wonder how such a mockery of all that is good and decent can exist. Recently, I got to thinking about how the award was determined, and decided to see if the people that I thought should have it would actually qualify for it. Well, after about five minutes of Google searching, I found... Well, after engaging in exhaustive research on the topic, all I was able to really find out was that it was awarded for outstanding contributions and profound impact, apparently on both music videos as well as popular culture. This vagueness actually fits. MTV's Video Vanguard Award has had its name changed five times, has been awarded to musical acts as well as directors, has had years where it was given to more than one recipient at a time, and there have even been about 10 instances in which it wasn't given out at all. So with that unclear criteria, I looked over the past winners, how many videos they had created when it was awarded, and any other trends I could find. Things were fairly fluid, but in the end I narrowed things down for myself. They needed to have created at least 20 music videos. What constituted a music video was pretty broad, mind you. They needed to be distinctive. You can see a defining trait across the majority of their videos that makes you think of the actual artist or band. And the majority of their videos should illustrate the song, its theme, or lyrics in innovative ways. Again, a real subjective rule, but since I was judge, jury, and award presenter, it's all good. Two final notes. First, yes, there are plenty of other music video awards out there, but hey, I grew up in the heyday of MVAs, so it's nostalgic for me. Second, this list is my list and my list alone. I'm not saying that previous winners don't deserve theirs, nor that others shouldn't get it. Merely that these are my top 10 musical acts that should get the MTV Video Vanguard Award. Number 10. <coughs> Gorillas. As a virtual group by nature, the videos of Gorillaz generally have a very strong focus on visual storytelling. Especially in the beginning, I felt like I was watching a series of shorts, rather than music displayed as a video. Take a very strong multimedia presence, add that to their surprising longevity, and the result is that this virtual band is, to me, more well-rounded and real than various other live musicians. The personalities of the characters shine through each time they appear on screen and are as much of a draw to the music videos as the music itself. I've always really enjoyed their videos, which are weird, wild, and constantly pushing forward the story of this band and their ongoing growth. Consider this. Those who are fans of the group from their debut album have watched Noodle literally grow up over the past 20 years. From their early days of Clint Eastwood and Feel Good Incorporated, to their recent entries of Saturn Bars and Pac-Man, the legacy of Gorillaz as a music video artist stands up to any previous award winner. Number 9 Run the Jewels I think Run the Jewels best captures the original essence of the Video Vanguard Award. Provocative, thoughtful, and unapologetic, their videos range from using a claymation horror ride through gentrification, to a VR video depicting the influence of religion in the military, to just revealing the unholy and truly disturbing nature of... cats. Their videos often have a sense of dark satire or dry humor, striking that delicate balance between making me laugh at the visuals and then making me feel guilty for actually laughing at the topic. The pair have a natural charisma and friendship that permeates their work, which is so infectious that it even bubbles up into the videos where they are either guest musicians or others are giving their own take on the underlying music. And that type of influence speaks volumes about their own talent. Holy shit, we are so Number 8 They Might Be Giants Part of the original alt-indie brigade that invaded MTV in its early years, They Might Be Giants have kept that feeling of a small, quirky, grassroots band that has to make up for a lack of an expensive budget by substituting it with an expansive imagination. Given that their own music catalog ranges across a wide range of genres and media, this has led them to becoming early adopters of new formats, like flash videos, interactive videos, and even a contest for fan-made videos. The group is no stranger to the world of animation, not even counting the inclusions of the Tiny Toons cast, employing it throughout the course of their career. Already prolific music video makers, a couple of times over the past five years, they severely upped their game by releasing new content several times each month for about a year, pushing their total video count from impressive to... You're meddling with powers you cannot possibly comprehend. 
This rapid pace forbids huge elaborate accoutrements and results in videos that maintain that bootstrapped and, in my opinion, relatable experience that continues to make these videos such a treat. They Might Be Giants music videos may not have the big money, big names, or big locations, but they are rife with big ideas, big energy, and big fun. Number 7 Hit it, Chris! We have become Pet Shop Boys! Pet Shop Boys The Pet Shop Boys started as part of that initial MTV rush of video artists, but even though their videos were eventually cycled out of rotation, they never really relied on the channel and as a result have been creating videos for decades, releasing their most recent ones this year, which is 2020 for the record. I mentioned earlier about how I look to see if the artist or group has their own distinct style, and the Pet Shop Boys are textbook examples of that. Visually, perhaps their longest standing aspect of their videos is Neil Tennant either standing or sitting calmly, dressed rather dapper, and Chris Lowe just standing mutely either behind or alongside. But another really intriguing aspect of their videos is their recognition of the magnificent variety of human bodies. People of all types are found throughout their videos, and this started all the way back to when showing anything aside from attractive young women was considered pretty surprising. These people are also usually involved in some serious dancing as well. And hey, would you like to do more dancing? Sure, we all would. Just step into one of the videos from the Pet Shop Boys and you are good to go. Well, what do you reckon? Number 6 Spike Jones. There was a period when it seemed like every time I saw a new video on MTV that I thought was massively creative and unique, it turned out to be directed by Spike Jones. Now, directors as award winners have sort of fallen out of favor over the past decade and a half, but I still think Spike Jones deserves a nod just for the enormous mind space that he occupied for years. He is the first director that I recall where people knew his work as a director of music videos, as well as any musical artist, and this was before MTV was sharing the director credit on the opening title card. His style always lent itself to visuals that would make me do something of a double take, as in, wait, did, did I just see that? Okay, yes, yes I did. Things like a throwback to a scene from a 1950s musical, or a send-up of 1970s cop shows or even just Christopher Walken dancing his heart out in a hotel lobby. This kind of domination of MTV is something that should be celebrated, as he really was one of the first directors to make people take interest in who was directing the music video as opposed to just performing it. Number 5 Bjork she started out with the group called the Sugar Cubes, but it was the music videos from her solo career that really started to define her style. Her early work focused on fantastical elements and hyper-realism with a dash of joy and fun mixed in for good measure. We get utterly massive SUVs, giant teddy bears roaming the forest, a musical set piece that perfectly encapsulates the roller coaster of being in love, and yes, even an abusive cat boyfriend. Her later videos, however, started distilling things down to what I would call performance art. It would often focus on her own emotion and singing, and then expand out into the realm of highly designed costumes. She introduced digital work subtly at first, but then it quickly grew to something that was completely integrated with the video as a whole, less a special effect, and more of a featured element. Also, I'm not sure why, but a lot of her videos seem to feature her bodiless floating head singing in the background. Off of everyone on this list, Bjork is the one that I would consider the most artistic. Her videos these days are slow-moving, lush affairs, where one is invited to just sit back and drink in the visuals as if you were watching a moving painting. Number 4 Prince Okay, this one actually surprised me. When I started looking into people who had won the Video Vanguard Award, I was pretty sure that Prince had just gotten this at some point. I mean, he pretty much checks all the boxes of what you would look for in an award winner. A massive and exceptionally varied body of work, an embrace of the art of the music video format from the start of his career, one of the founding musicians that MTV itself built their brand on, and a constant and permanent fixture in popular culture, again, throughout his career. Now, since he has passed, I don't know if MTV would want to give out awards posthumously, but I also don't think that there is anyone who would actually blink at this. 
His estate is continuing to issue new videos as they work through his massive collection of unreleased music, so it's not like he has faded from view at all. But regardless, how did he not get this award? His videos weren't just prolific, but also passionate and pro-grade. If you want to see what happens when you combine a large budget with an even larger vision, check out pretty much any Prince Music video. Hey, I would actually be fine if they wanted to rename the Video Vanguard Award again, this time after him. Just imagine it. And the Prince Award goes to... Number 3 Michel Gondry. My second director on this list has worked with a wide array of artists, but he always seems to be able to put his own signature visual style on the video. And in this case, that signature style comes from the form of some utterly superb sleight of hand. You really should get a timer whenever you start one of his videos to see how long it is before some nifty visual tricks start being played on you. Like a fictional landscape being revealed in time to the music. A visual tape loop layering in upon itself. Or an honest to god palindrome music video. Clever transitions, unusual animation mediums, and playing with our perspective, Michel Gondry has made some of the most memorable and flat out fascinating music videos to grace TV screens across the world. Seriously, you could teach a slew of college courses on his work. And if those already exist, please tell me where to sign up. Number 2 Weird Al Yankovic On one hand, I'm sure people are probably pretty surprised, not just at his inclusion on this list, but how high I ranked him. On the other, I'm also pretty sure that as people stop and think about Weird Al's work, they would be like, actually yeah, I can totally see that. For one thing, his longevity alone is something worth celebrating. How many pop stars has he parodied that he has outlasted by now? Additionally, due to his work of parodying the pop culture of the moment, he has adapted to any number of genres and styles. Come on down to Weird Al's Music Video Shop, where we serve all flavors you could possibly want. Rap, alt-rock, and, of course, ragtime. While he is obviously best known for his spoofs on popular music videos, over time, all of his songs, both his parodies and his original works, have skewed more towards original takes. I also have to note that Weird Al was another artist to really embrace the possibilities of animation. In fact, this has allowed for him to put out even more music videos with each album, and given the comedic nature of his music, animation really breathes life into his lyrics. It seems each entry on this list has a particular defining trait, like capturing the original essence of the award, or being the most artistic, etc. But for Weird Al, I hate to say it, but I think that his would have to be that he's the least likely to get the Video Vanguard Award. People love his videos, they deliver sight gags that hold up for decades, and he clearly has a style that is iconic. But most people think that only serious videos should get such an award, which, to be blunt, is pretty lame. His catalog charts the evolution of top music videos for the past several decades, and he's proven that he can handle any of the elements of any genre. So how about it? Why not recognize the person most responsible for showing that music videos can not only be inspiring, but funny at the same time? Number 1 OK Go to be completely transparent, this was the group that started me on this entire topic. Very early on in their music video career, they found a winning formula of music videos that allowed them to capture a lot of recognition and almost entirely through word of mouth. OK Go has constantly pushed the boundaries of innovation in music videos that no other video artist I've seen has been able to match, either in quantity or quality. For example, how about starting out with personal moving seats that lead into using umbrellas, which create a gigantic LCD screen? Or, what about playing a song by driving a car through a track where the measures are laid out in space rather than time? 
or shooting the video in less than five seconds but needing four minutes to play it back. Or filming the whole thing in a vomit comet so they are coming in and out of microgravity. Yeah, you get the point. And it's not just eye candy. These videos often reflect the themes of the underlying song. For example, using the aforementioned microgravity in a song that refers to gravity as just to have it. Using a series of optical illusions on top of a track about being unable to see the other person's point of view. Or stretching out time to reinforce the plea in the lyrics of making this one moment last forever. Again, many of these list entries have some sort of defining trait, something that I did not originally plan for. Well, for OK Go, they are, by far, the most deserving of a Video Vanguard Award. They continue to do things that I've not seen any other music video even attempt. They punch above their weight, they perform above their pay grade, and they definitely produce videos that are deeper and more engaging than those with far bigger budgets. As the earthly embodiment of innovation in music videos, it is my highest possible recommendation that you check them out for some really epic takes on the medium. Trust me, if you do, you'll find that they live up to the mantra of, I won't let you down. Whew, so that's it. Those are my top picks. As I mentioned at the start, this is all personal preference and based on my own experiences and knowledge of different groups and their music videos. So what about you, kind viewer? What are some bands that would make your list? Leave your take in the comments below. The best thing about doing this project was that it introduced me to some new work from artists that I haven't seen before. I'd love to continue to expand my range, so share your top picks and I'll definitely check them out. Thanks for your time and share and enjoy.